All right, guys, so a lot of people are still having issues with their setup of Blender Octane. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm using Blender 3.61 right now, and I'm gonna log into my server, my Octane server, and then what I'm going to do is just set up a file and then save it out and then allow you guys to download that file, you know, use it to troubleshoot. And maybe you're having any issues or something with setup you don't understand or color management. You'll see I'll have it up and running on my system and then you can download the template. I'll have a free download link and then load it up on your system and then maybe to help you troubleshoot any issues that you may have. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to jump in. I'm already logged into my server. And what I, another thing, let's go ahead and set that up for one thing here. I'm going to jump into my in my render preferences. And here's the Octane version that I'm running at the moment. I'm using Octane version 27.17. Scroll this tab down here. And what I do is right here, release Octane licensing license after exiting. And why the reason why I choose this is when I'm updating to another a new version of Octane, you need to sign out of your Octane standalone server. If you uninstall Octane before you un before you turn it off or log out, it's kind of a penalty. Like when you go to your Octane server, it will show how many times you can actually do that. It's always best practice to tick this box. So every time you turn off Blender Octane, it un it ticks you out of your license. It logs it out. So you don't have that mistake because there's a certain amount of times that they will let you reactivate it and then you'll have to start a whole new profile basic so that's one thing that i always do i always check that on here as far as everything else in here i pretty much leave it standard use shader surfaces for i leave all of this stuff standard automatic i have that on also basically so boom that's the only thing that i really change inside of here so i'm going to close that and then i'm going to come up here to file and just to get this all set up like a basic here. I'm going to go to load factory settings. Okay. So this is what I would pop into here. And then for example, I will come into here on a fresh install. I will go to preferences again, locate your octane plugin. And then here it is. And you can see it's not on. So we're going to go ahead and check that. And then let me make a full screen, help you out. I'll come in here again. See, it's not checked. I'll go ahead and check on this. And then here, Octane local database path, you know, the, it, it works as hit and miss, but I do have a path where I already have my Octane database where I had some plug or some uh, materials that I've already made. So I'll typically I would jump in here and go and load those up Octane database. I'll go ahead and accept that, accept. And then here it is. It's got it's already knows where my Octane database is, where all my my extra uh, materials will be. And that's pretty much it here. It, your default material, every time you make a new material, you can set it here universal or if you want to you can basically customize it to if you use glossy all the time but i leave it at universal because i use that most of the time and then everything else i leave pretty much stock and then i also if you have not downloaded the octane node wrangler version here it is octane node wrangler make sure you download that i will put the link down in the description or connect you to the video that allows you to download this those are the two big majors that I'll do from there. Make sure our thing is active here and it does say active. OK, so I'll come in here, fire up the render. I'm going to kill the camera and right off the back. Nothing's working again. Make sure you have Octane select. Turn this off. Come here, scroll down. Here is Octane. And now with this new version, again, our kernels, nothing is set up properly. So it looks like this. OK, so again, quickly to make sure we have this running proper here, we have no octane, no kernels. And let's go ahead and load up our kernel. So what I'm going to do is scroll this down and then I'm going to come into octane kernels. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit quick tree, no tree setup. And right now it gave us a direct lighting kernel. We don't want that kernel. So what all I'm going to do is just basically click this, delete it shift a and i'm going to go down to octane kernels and i'm going to pick a path tracing kernel that's similar to what uh, uh, cycles was right there we go that's the one so now we have our serve our, our kernel and then i'm going to go ahead and jump back to my viewport and then here let's go ahead and fire it up okay well we still kind of don't really see anything well we haven't selected our kernel yet so i'm going to turn this off i'm going to come to kernel there it is now we have it and we can scroll this down and here is all of our settings for our kernel Typically, I just for out of default, straight out of the box, I will set that down to eight. I will set my preview samples to 100. And then I come down to my GI clamp. I set that to 10 or even possibly one. Sometimes I set it to one when I'm working on it. And then when I 
equal to export i crank it up to 10 and then from there i don't use that i mean alpha channel if you want to have your background png background that, that's that but for out of the box right now i leave all of this stuff stock i don't change any of this stuff and if i just scroll these all down and then what i come down to is my color setup here and we come down to color management and here srgb filmic we do not need filmic we need raw octane works on a raw color transform it works in a linear so we do not need any type of added stuff to it right so now if we go ahead and hit render well we don't really see anything because we don't see anything because there's no lights so quickly let's add in a light just to get something going here i'm going to go shift a light octane area light just kind of scroll that up and then gz that up like that now let's hit render and see what we see oh there it is it's working just for the sake of it i'm also going to throw in a plane there it is okay so that's all working and everything set up we do have a light in here by default delete that light because cycles lights do not work in octane all right so that's pretty much it everything is up and running you're ready to go if you wanted to set hdri up scroll over here make sure we turn off the render i always tend to turn off the render when i'm switching stuff because it may crash sometimes and here we can go to octane environment we can go to texture environment this pops down and then what we're going to do is i never work on the side panel i got to go into the shading world here there is my world setting okay and what we're going to do again kill the render we want to add in our change this to octane delete that we need to add in a rgb image shift a s r g r g b image drop that in plug that into there now we'll go ahead and load in our hdri here's the art workshop from hdri heaven and then what i typically do is also jump into a shift a go into projections spherical projection for our hdri plug that into projections now my legacy gamma C is set to 2.2. Pretty much anything that is a full RGB color image, you want it to have a gamma of 2.2, except for your HDRIs. Make that one. Again, if we go ahead and put it in here now, we should have that looking nice. There it is. And here's our light. Our light is in the scene. Now, again, if we had this set to 2.2, you'll notice our background does not look correct. Look how dark it looks in the background set your gamma to to one okay there it is and that's pretty much it the scene is set up so from here what i'm going to do and what i'm also going to do just in case there's anything that i don't know that's in the background i'm going to go into pack resources and that's going to pack everything and it may actually include the hdri which i think it's going to so you may want to check the HDR might already be inside of your sample thing here. Matter of fact, I'll just leave it loaded for you and hit save and it should be ready to go. And then one more time, pack data. And there is nothing else to pack, so it is fully packed. So what I'm gonna do is drop this in the gum road. It will be free. If you have any issues, maybe you've seen here that I was able to set it up and maybe you can do this, load this file in and kind of troubleshoot your system and find out maybe it might be something more internally with your system. For example, for me, about a month ago, I could not do any render caching inside of Blender Octane. Like every time I would do a rigid body and cache it, it would crash Blender. Like, I don't know what the issue was. But after I did a clean in system restart, I typically once a year, I like to reinstall Windows clean, fresh. I reinstalled Windows clean, fresh install, and I reloaded Blender Octane, and it now it renders the cache. So there was something going on in the background that was more Windows related versus Blender related. Now I can render rigid bodies and do it won't crash on it. So that might be something you may have going on with your uh, system in the background. I'm not saying, dude completely wipe your system and do a clean refresh but hey it feels like i have a new laptop right now because it's extremely speedy and everything is nice and tidy so hope this helps guys again just trying to provide some value with you i know there's not a lot of stuff out there with blender octane and i want to be your guys number one source for blender octane so hope you guys enjoy patrick lavar keep rendering it's the only way you'll get better peace